All right, welcome back to the channel, guys. Hope you guys are having a good day. I know I am because I've been using this RK7 Garrison. Let me tell you this. Long story short, I have no words for this weapon at all. It is definitely a sleeper. A lot of people are sleeping on it, and I just can't figure out why. I mean, I understand that the gun was really trash when Black Ops 4 got released, but since then, it's been buffed. And I've been straight melting enemies with this. The highlights of this gun is that it's a two burst weapon. That means that if you pull the trigger and you hit both of your bursts on the enemy, they're definitely gonna get melted. And number two, it can actually challenge enemies from mid range. Make sure you stay stealthy, you flank around, play smart. Don't challenge people head on. Try to close the gap between yourself and the enemy and bring the gunfight to them. That way you're putting yourself in a higher percentage of winning those gunfights when you do get into them. So that's just one thing you gotta remember and use your mobility to the maximum man. and i'm talking about just avoiding confrontations by sliding around jumping using your speed because since you're just using a secondary your speed is definitely going to be a lot faster than the typical enemy that you come across so those are just a few things to consider and by the way i came up with this video because i was watching cod champs i noticed one of the pro players was using the rk7 garrison and he went off on a total tear he was destroying enemies that just prompted me to hop online right away and try and use it Let, let's just say that the results were phenomenal and i can't believe not enough people are showing this weapon love all right so now that that's out of the way let's get into the class setup so we got the rk7 garrison here for optics i'm using elo which is totally optional it's up to you then i got extended mags one and two i know this may be overkill but if you take a look at all the other attachments on it they're all pretty much useless i feel like in my opinion you don't really need it and having all that ammo is definitely going to be beneficial for you to go on longer streaks the last and final attachment we have here is rapid fire i feel like this one is absolutely essential in decreasing that time to kill this is what is going to help melt those enemies off of the map and this is why this two burst pistol is so effective for gear i'm using stim shop then we got scavenger so we can replenish our ammo gung ho so we can fire faster after sprinting then dead sound so they don't hear my footsteps and i don't like to hear my own footsteps then for specialist i'm going to be using the reaper specialist because i absolutely love using his scythe weapon just a little quick tip and trick on the scythe weapon because i was reading a few comments saying yo how do you fire your weapon so fast when you're using the reaper well first of all do not aim in do not aim down sights just hit fire while you're sprinting and make sure you have gung-ho on that's how you're able to abuse the heck out of this reaper specialist weapon and just make it super overpowered uh, so yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you do support me and i know who my real supporters are out there definitely drop a like on this man battery is low i got a little distracted right there but yeah if you're a true supporter of this channel definitely drop a like on this video help my channel grow and subscribe if you're new around here don't forget to turn on notifications and i will see you guys in the gameplay peace all right since we're using a pistol here i've got to take the gunfights to the enemies try to play as fast as possible playing a little bit more aggressive than i usually do because i'm trying to take make these there you go ah oh, might die here nope i'm alive i'm alive i'm alive hold on let me recover no i, I don't need to recover i knew they were spawning in here all right it's time to back up get a different angle oh no let me close the gap on this guy i know he's here oh my gosh man that argus we got a rough start it's all good i'm gonna come back here he's probably gonna come up this thing knew it you always got to remember where you were oh my gosh that was so close and try to be as evasive as possible that's like one of the most important things oh man i'm tagged i'm tagged I'm actually just gonna push. Hopefully we come up on a flank here, we do. Dude, for some reason, getting flanks with this gun is like pretty doable. Oh my gosh, that was so close. Hold on, I was calling this UAV, teammate just died behind me. Ooh, that was close. All right, now this is where I'm gonna really just flank. It's just bad timing, honestly. Let's pre-aim this teammate just died. And since we're using a pistol, we do have uh, evasiveness and mobility on our side. I'm going to try to flank. I'm pre-aiming. Took him out. There's another one here. He's out. Notice how I didn't really push too hard right there because I knew that there were two enemies. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to push that. Woohoo! Did a little drive-by right there calling this uav that was a lot that was actually pretty risky and i don't recommend doing that oh he's got he's got a good advantage on me 
Uh, position wise. See where he's at. Got him. Okay, we got our specialist ability back. I'm actually going to push this way into their spawn because I know he's coming this way. He's got to be here somewhere. Dog, come on, man. Okay, we got one. Got two. I think he's going to try and flank me. Yep, I knew it. So we got our thresher. We're on a merciless right now. We got a chopper. Get to the chopper. Come on, do it. Come on. <laughs> it's been a while since I've done that. I think my side's going to run out soon. Let's call this thresher. Let him walk right by me. All right, we're doing pretty good so far. Now I'm just going to patrol their spawn. That's all you can do in this situation. Uh-oh. Okay, we shouldn't push that way. We're not at a good position there. I think someone's here. Oh, dude, I swear I moved out of the way. All uh, right, whatever. Hey, man, I got I guys got to tell you a story. So Arnold Schwarzenegger was actually in my town over the weekend, and I can't believe I missed him. I'm really upset about that. Dude. RK7 Garrison from distance putting in work. No wonder the pros are using this gun. Like, seriously. It's almost as good as using a primary. All right, let's pre-aim this. I'm dead. Yeah, he got me. All right, let's go back around this way to the left side of the map. Let's go around and flank. Notice how every move that I make, I'm usually alone by myself. Uh, one's, uh, one's coming up to teammate. Got him. I'm always keeping an eye on that minimap and what's going on in the game. But we should be coming up on some enemies on this side because I'm looking at that minimap. It's very empty here. And I see that my teammates... Oh, man. So I'm going to push into here. I'm going to pre-aim. Teammates in trouble. Teammates actually in trouble. I'm keeping an eye on my ammo. ammo. I was going to say ammunition. That's why it sounded kind of weird. All right. They got a UAV. Which is perfectly fine with me. Somebody using the war machine? All right, cool. Arnold Schwarzenegger style. Dude, where did that guy come from? The heck? Oh my goodness, let's go. Dude, I'm getting destroyed right now by these guys. We're getting ganged up on. All right, let's call this UAV. Match is almost over. Somebody's trying to flank on this side. I'll wait for him right here. Got him. Pre-aiming. Got him. Oh, no. Teammate got him. He's... You, 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 you. All right, what do we get? 50 kills, 8 deaths with this secondary, man. I can't believe this. Dude, I'm telling you, man. RK7. Why isn't anybody using this gun? I was watching COD Champs over the weekend, and I was like, dude, somebody's using... I forget who it was, but he was using the RK7, and he was absolutely dominating with it against the likes of the Maddox and the SOG. And I'm like, dude, I can't believe it. I have to try this out. And dude, it is super, super awesome. But with this gun, you'll actually be amazed. It's actually pretty effective at distance. Ooh. As you can see right there, it is pretty effective in my opinion. I think most of these guys are AFK right now. What's going on? All right, so I'm just going to go around to the other side of the map. Go ahead and investigate. I'm, of course, I'm always looking at the positioning of my teammates, making sure I'm not too bunched up with them. Dude, RK7 is just too nice. All right, now I'm going to rotate backwards where I came from. I'm going to pre-aim here. Seen some activity going on. There's literally somebody right here. Where did he go? There he is. Literally a two burst shot right there. I didn't kill him on purpose just for that fact, just to verify. Okay, we're good. Let's grab some of this ammo, even though we don't really need it. They're spawning down back here. As you can see, it is pretty effective from distance, which is amazing. Someone right here in this room. Let's pre aim. Nothing. He's probably went around this way. There he is. Oh, man. There's there's a good amount of them right now. Ooh, 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 ooh. Where am I getting shot from? 
Yo, what's going on? What's going on? Let's put this here. That guy's getting away. Teammate, handle that. Thank you. All right, so as soon as we get our scythe, we're going to activate it right away. So now that we've got our chopper and we've got our thresher, let's call that in. Oh, man. Ah, oh, man. I feel like I was lagging right there. Ooh, that guy was one shot. I'll take it. Let's grab these tags, of course, so we can get some points for them. Someone down there. Let's go ahead and investigate. Teammates going right, so I'm going to push left. Took him out. All right, we're going to keep circling around the map. Pre-aiming. All right, so I'm going to rotate around this end of the map right here. It's because I know this is where they're spawning in from. Dude, RK7 is just way too quick, especially since you're using a pistol. It makes your mobility that much better. Dude, that guy didn't stand a chance at all, man. Close quarter combat? No way. Little health boost. Okay, that I'm going to be passive aggressive with. I'm not even going to force that. And plus, I know that a lot of their teammates are probably spawning from that area anyway. Dude, we got another thresher. Let's go. So they're spawning in here from poopers. Uh, hold on. On my screen, didn't I move out of the way? That's crazy. That, oh man, I don't, I don't get that at all. Too easy, man. That two burst. Spawning in right here. He's got another one. Dude, that was close. See how evasive I was? Try to move out of the way as fast as possible. This is one right here behind this wall. Good job, teammate. I'm actually going to push left because teammate went right. See how you just cover more ground and fill the lanes correctly that way? Let's reload. They should be to our left. Oh, man. Nice one. Okay, so they should be spawning in over here. That was easy. Body armor has no effect on me. Let's go, baby. We got a UAV. Another scythe. Let's do some damage with it. Here we go. There he is. Should be one around here. Another one. I think one's running down middle. There he is. Another one. Dude, it is just a massacre right now. All right, 57 kills in seven deaths, man. All right, you guys, so we're going to be switching it up here a little bit. We're going to be using the UAV and counter UAV only. Some of you guys may ask me why I do that, and that's just because I want all my kills uh, to come from the the weapon itself. I don't want my score streaks taking all the credit. And, uh, yeah, so we're just going to be flanking around, of course, trying to do our best, taking the gunfight to the enemies. Instead of uh, letting the enemies dictate uh, what happens in these gunfights. So I'm just taking the gunfights to the enemies. Long story short, that's what it is. I think he's right above us. Yep, yeah, he is right above us. Oh, that was really close. I was calling this UAV. Let's chill out for a little bit. Let that UAV ping. Nice, we got a counter UAV out of it. All right, I'm getting out of here. They know where I'm at. Actually, no, they don't. I got the radar shroud. Don't forget that. When you have the radar shroud, that's what happens. Oh, he is one shot. He is severely one shot. We got our Reaper specialist here. Let's go ahead and use it. Good thing I heard his footsteps. Let's reset. One guy right there. Oh, he's in there. He's definitely in there. Got him. We're actually on a merciless right now, which is really good. All right, we got to get out of here. I hear, I hear, oh, yep. Oh, that was really close. That was super close. Thing with this class setup is you got to be super stealthy. This actually might be really risky, but we got to kill out of it. Ah, oh, man, he got me. Seen somebody like pass by like right here. Got him. One downstairs. Ooh. 
Got a couple people actually coming down here. Oh, I'm dead. Oh my gosh, I should have died right there, yo. That's crazy. Actually, now I'm going to move to this part of the map. Check my flank again. Let's call this UAV. Being as stealthy as I possibly can. Ooh. Okay, forget that guy. I know for a fact he's going to come after me. So I'm going to make my way to the opposite side of the map. Ah, oh, right behind me. Yup, he, uh... He definitely followed me. I should have kept going. Got him. Straight from left and right. Let me go around for the flank again. There we go. We're coming up on a flank. I think I think somebody's actually right behind me. That was really close. I heard his footsteps too in the snow. Okay, teammates gonna go that way. I'll just push here into the mid. Should be a couple people here. Oh man, did too much chasing over there. Got him. Oh man, we're in trouble here. Oh man, nice one. Got him. If I was them, I'd go into this building. All right, what did we get? 31 and 7. Finished off with a 4.43 KD. Man, the RK7 is definitely one of a kind. It's a pistol you might not think like, yo, this is going to be beastly. But it's actually a pretty formidable weapon, especially against the likes of the Sog and the Maddox. And that's why pros probably prefer the RK7 if they're going to do some damage, especially in close quarter combat. And the fact that it could compete at mid range makes it definitely a really, really viable weapon to use, especially since the lines of sight in this game are all pretty much. Uh, mid-range anyway that the ones that you're gonna get into so uh, if you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to drop a like if you want to support the channel I know who my real ones are out there I see you leaving those comments you know showing me some love I really appreciate it and if you're new around here definitely subscribe for more Call of Duty content turn on notifications I see you notification gang and I'll see you guys in the next video peace hey guys I just want to give a quick shout out to the people whose names are listed for officially joining the channel as a member and if you are interested in joining there's a link in the description that will take you there and some information on exclusive perks you get for joining as a thank you from me to you remember this is not required by any means and i appreciate all the support whether you're a member or not all right i'll see you guys in the next video peace